Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, Azerbaijan and Ar Armenia started to have problems again. Uh, Azerbaijan uh, launched massive attack into uh, Armenia and uh, this is in this very scene you can see the Azerbaijan troops allegedly uh, moving towards Armenia and uh, uh, but I think they did not work out for them. So apparently they must be under shelling that uh, they are all pruning down and uh, and then they retreat. You can look at the terrain uh, is actually not very uh, good for infantry and uh, looks like oh, there looks like some uh, bullet shells just flew past. And uh, So, so welcome to the map. Um, so around uh, middle of the night, uh, in uh, Azerbaijan Armenian time, uh, shelling was reported uh, over multiple locations uh, in Armenia. So uh, there was Azerbaijan uh, shelling reported at Goris. And uh, and then uh, there is uh, let me see. Shelling reported at uh the Vardenis uh Vardenis region and Sot. Sot is this uh this uh settlement over here. And then re uh, Shelling reported at Jemuk. And then there's re Shelling reported at Arini. And there's also Shelling reported at Taj. And uh, UAV strikes are also reported in the Goris region. So, and that also comes with uh, reports of a concentration of Azerbaijan forces in the Kabaja region. So, Kabaja region is over here. And uh, this is the disputed uh, Karabakh Nagorno region. And uh, this is Armenia and this is Azerbaijan. So, this part is also part of Azerbaijan and and uh, with this bombardment that also suggests that uh, there is Armenian troops over here shelling. So according to uh, Azerbaijan, why did they attack Armenia? They, re they claim that uh, Armenia have engaged in provocations. So in, the, in this uh, statement, they say that uh, Armenian armed forces committed large, large scale, large scale provocation in Dashkesan, Kelbaja uh, and uh, Lachin direction and uh, they say that uh, the Azerbaijan uh, position shelters and bases were fired upon by uh, Armenian armed forces uh, so they say that uh, the Armenian is trying to slow down the implementation of large-scale civilian infrastructure project uh, currently being implemented by, by the Azerbaijan uh, side in the border region uh, that were previously you know captured and liberated uh, into Azerbaijan control so they were so they can maintain an atmosphere of tension near the border of Azerbaijan so they blame uh, all responsibilities onto Armenia and they actually launch a massive uh, counter offensive or or counter attack against uh, these uh, alleged provocations from Armenia uh, there are uh, some 
uh, rumor saying that uh, the people never heard any gunshots or fire fires uh, prior to the Azerbaijan attack from the Armenian side into Azerbaijan territory. But of course, all this can be a uh, fate. So uh, it isn't very clear whether Armenia actually provoked Azerbaijan, but so far from uh, from the past few uh, engagement and skirmishes, it seems like Azerbaijan is the aggressor. Uh, but I'm not sure. This is because Azerbaijan has been on the back of a victory over Armenia in the previous war, and uh, and then they are really on the road. And uh, Armenian armed forces is really you know on the back foot versus the the Azerbaijan forces, and uh, perhaps Azerbaijan is trying to uh step on this uh this this tide that is uh in their favor especially with turkey uh turkey is just next to them and uh next to armenia and turkey is actually on the side of azerbaijan so the only the russians are really you know uh slightly to the side of armenia and then they are maintaining a certain presence uh over here uh to ensure peace and um uh, and succession of hostilities in the uh karabakh Ago uh, nagorno region and uh, however, on the Armenian Ministry of Defense claim, uh, is the Azerbaijan that opened fire from artillery and large caliber fire firearms at Armenian position first, and and uh, in this uh, conflict, uh, so far in these past twelve hours, Armenia has claimed two Beretta TB twos bank uh of the Azerbaijan Air Force getting shot down. However, the the the, there was then a ceasefire around 2.30 a.m. Uh, in the morning. There was a reportedly announced, but uh, reportedly being reached, announced on the Armenian side. However, the Azerbaijan side uh, denied that such a ceasefire uh, exists. No such agreement was uh, agreed upon. Uh, and then um, this was uh, uh, denied and the uh, fighting continues. And uh, as the shelling continues, uh, there is report that uh, there is power outage at Jermuk uh, due to the artillery strikes. And uh, Armenia, no, like I said, they are not as strong uh, militarily as compared to Azerbaijan, has formally informed Russia of the Azerbaijan aggression. And uh, this is actually uh, required uh, before Armenia can actually trigger the article that allows uh, Sisto and Russia to interfere in the defense of Armenia uh, as part of the alliance, which is similar to NATO's Article 5. I believe the, the Sisto one is Article 4. So, and then uh, further shelling was then reported at uh, Ishkanarsa and uh, as well as at Kapan. So, uh, as you can see, the Azerbaijan forces seems you know, really re seems to be quite prepared uh that they are firing at this area this area this area this area is that all over the place and uh, there is reported fighting there is reported heavy skirmishes but now uh, this kind of information is only rumored uh it seems to be quite hard to determine uh, both ministry of defense have uh, told people not to upload videos of the fighting which is kind of weird uh anyway the there is a uh, fighting reported around this region here this region here so this region here is a uh, close to salt uh in the vadenis region here and there is another fighting over here uh in the jermuk region and uh the other one that was fighting is uh at the this uh demilitarized zone uh, the lachin corridor region uh close to tech uh where the tech is also getting shelled so this is the situation at this moment um there there is no clear indication of a uh, ground offensive despite we saw that, that one video just now that you've seen which allegedly is taken from this uh situation over the past uh, 12 14 16 hours uh but it's not so clear what is clear is that there is a clear uh, bombardment from the azerbaijan side into armenia the reverse is not is a uh, however uh lack of evidence there is actually no videos are uh, showing 
from the Azerbaijan side of Armenia firing into Azerbaijan positions. So currently, uh, there is already a high level talks from Armenia with Russia and uh, we, sh we will still be watching what is going to happen next. So this is a quick update over here at the Armenia Azerbaijan uh, region where uh, Azerbaijan seems to be trying to trigger a new war against Armenia and uh, this time round they probably look to entirely conquer the entire of this uh, Karabakh and Nagorno region. Anyway this is the quick update and I'll see you in the next update.